Hi everyone, I'm Paul and this is Cryptography where we unlock crypto for the masses. Today we're going to be describing Augur, one of the longest lived applications on the Ethereum platform. Now Augur isn't an entirely separate blockchain, actually it's a token and if you want to learn more about tokens, check out the link to our previous video below. So back to Augur, which is a decentralized prediction market. Now that sounds pretty complicated, but in reality we've all interacted with one of these before. It's a way of people voting on things that would happen in the future, aka gambling. People vote with their money that something in the future will occur. So Augur pitch, pitches itself not as just a gambling platform, but as the ability to Google the future by gathering all these different data points. So they place a lot of value in the crowd as opposed to in experts. So why do these votes from all these different people that don't know what they're doing have value? Well, that's because their votes have money behind them. They have a stake with their vote. So why would people vote with their money? Well, their money can become more money if they vote and their vote turns out to be right, that their thing that they predicted ends up coming true, they get paid. So people all have an incentive to vote correctly so that they can make money. And therefore we get all of these different data points from around the world on the blockchain, which is Ethereum, in order to get better data. So this is predictions that are backed by actual money. So there's a few examples of how these decentralized prediction markets have worked in the past. First, companies. Companies like Google, Microsoft, and HP have all used prediction markets internally by allowing their employees to vote on what projects to proceed on. And we all know that these companies have been incredibly successful and prediction markets seem to have worked for them. Next, this concept can trace itself back to Austrian economics, which were really powerful economists in the mid 20th century that really pushed forward the idea of free market. And what's more free market than letting your money do the talking for your voting, where the people as a group have more influence than just some experts. There is one major risk with this, and that's that there's a crowd mentality where you vote on what you think other people will vote on instead of what you think is the best outcome. But there are many ways to circumvent this, and we think that the Augur team has a bright future ahead of it. So, as always, please, we invite your comments, questions, criticisms on the channel, and please like and subscribe below. Thanks, everyone.